So a big welcome to Jenny Birch of Abla Day Nursery and Passport Language Solutions. Jenny, thanks very much for joining us. Hi, thank you. Um, as you run a nursery, a kid's nursery, what tips have you got for parents who are trying to keep their kids entertained at home? Um, so as a nurse, you've been sending them regular emails with tips and things that they can try. One of the most important things I'd probably say is to try and keep a bit of a routine for them. So you don't want anything too regimented, but just so that they've got a time where they get up a time and they have lunch a time and they have naps if they have naps or bedtime. Because children feel secure when they've got a routine and obviously this is a very insecure feeling time so that will help them. Um, I definitely say don't worry too much about the homeschooling thing though. Um, children learn through play, that's the best way for children to learn, particularly younger children. Um, one of the tips I would say that that's always a good go-to for whatever age is crafts. And if you feel like you're running out of craft resources, then there's loads of recipes out there to make your own paint, to make your own Play-Doh. You can even make your own sand or an equivalent of sand. And it's using things that you'll find in the cupboards. So that's great. Um, collect recycling things as well. So collect um, boxes and um, cereal packages, milk pots. Yeah all that kind of stuff there's so much that you can do with that not just in terms of crafts but you can actually make new things you can make new toys you can make instruments you can make a little toy house you could make loads of games out of egg boxes you could make a dice loads you could do with that kind of thing oh fabulous so um what about i mean obviously you know you're a bilingual nursery what about trying to teach any kids language when they're in a home situation yeah, so one of the really good ways to introduce a language to a child and teach a child the language is songs. Um, you can find songs on the internet. There's loads of language songs, Spanish songs out there. That's a really good way of doing it. Again, if you can build it into your routine kind of subtly during the day. So you might decide that meal times, every time you have a meal, you're going to learn how to say the names of the foods that you're going to eat. Or you might decide that every time you have bath time, you're going to sing some songs whilst you're in the bath in Spanish. Obviously, a big way of learning a language is exposure to speakers of that language and exposure to that language. And so really, you have to go online for that kind of thing. So that, that's a, a key, is it? That the, the persistence to keep doing something and best to kind of keep a routine as well. Yeah, definitely. So repetition of things is always a good way to make to make learning a new language and to make that language stick. Right. And, and any other resources out there to support people? Um, YouTube is fantastic. So YouTube, you can watch stories online. You can watch cartoons and things that the children So if the children love Peppa Pig or Fireman Sam. You can watch it in Spanish online, which is a great way to expose them to that language. Um, you can get songs online, you can, I think YouTube's got a lot there. Apps as well, there's quite a few apps that you can use, that you can download, that the children can play with. And again, online classes. Um, so like we're running online classes at the moment, that's a good way for, for children to be able to have that input from a native speaker or a non-native speaker. How do they say Ponty Pandy in Spanish then? <laughs> 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 you have to watch Fire and Sound to find out. <laughs> Absolutely. So what about adults? What, I mean, what about a, a good way for them to kind of keep going with their language learning? Yeah, so it's a really good time actually now for a lot of people. If you've been furloughed or if your hours have been reduced or you've got rid of that two-hour commute and you've got an extra couple of hours in your day, learning a language is going to be something that's going to make you really valuable in the jobs market. And obviously everybody's a bit concerned about that right now. So it would be a great new skill to have. Uh, again, there's apps that you can use. Um, you can go in a similar way to the children, watch films or listen to music in the language that you want to learn. And again, find an online tutor. A lot of them are offering discounts at the moment. We've got ours discounted to 50% if you're going to learn online at the moment. So there's a lot of offers and things out there that you can find. There's also a lot of online classes that you can access that might be free already and online resources that you can use. So that's a good way to do it. And again, build it into your everyday life. If you're going to maybe do it with, with your household, then why don't you stick post-it notes around the house of things you want to learn? Why don't you say... We're all going to ha learn Spanish again at this time, or we're all going to learn this kind of vocab and test each other and make it a social thing as well. That's some brilliant ideas, Jenny. Thanks very much for joining us. 
I've put your details at the bottom of the screen if anybody wants to contact you. But thanks very much again, Jane. Thanks, Dan.